Alrighty. I'm gonna take the cylinder heads off here. Just gotta do it with the. Uh, oh, it was a half inch. Nice, nah, 7 sixteenths wrench. Hmm. Can't do it with a socket, you gotta do it with an open end or a box. Grip on these. Got so much crud on them, plus they're a little rounded. There we go. That was loose. Okay, that one loose. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna unscrew them. You don't have to watch me unscrew them. And then we'll pull the head off. Alright, I unbolted it. Take it off, see what it looks like. Hmm. There we go. You don't want to hit too hard on these things. Oh, here we come. Here we go. Huh. A little gouge, but the uh, rings look okay. I don't know. I don't know if I put my head in the way or not, but it uh, looks okay. Looks to be missing on this side here. It's missing a little retaining ring or a welch, welch plug, whatever they call it in, but uh, that's no problem. Hmm. A little bit of play, but not bad. It's only a hobby engine, we're not going to be doing any laundry with it. Alright, let me turn this other side around and we'll uh, unbolt this one for you. Alrighty, got this other side uh, unbolted. Pull it off now, I don't know if you can see that. Hmm, well, a little tiny. It's pretty dry inside. But, uh, I actually feel pretty good, you know? I can't see much in there. Let me see, I got a flashlight. Hmm. Yeah, you probably can't see much, but uh, look pretty good. Both of them are taking nice home and uh, should be fine. Hmm. Look at these rings here. The bottom ring seems to be stuck, but uh, probably nothing a little. Persuasion will help, probably a little carbon holding it in. But, uh, let's see if I can turn it up for you there. There we go. Maybe you can see that. But, uh, the bottom ring seems to be stuck. But the rest of it looks pretty good. So you've got both Welsh plugs, see? Got a plug on that side and a plug on this side. This one's missing it. This one only has, uh, has one on, uh, where you go. Where you at? Only got one on that side, this one's missing. We'll take care of that though. Alright. I don't know how much farther I'm going to break it down. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe we got one more thing to take out for you. Alright. All right, what we're going to do now is uh, take out the carburetor jet here. We got a little uh, Allen wrench on the side here holding it in. A little set screw, I think they call them. There we go. That's what holds them in, but they put them in with uh, sometimes gas oil or some kind of sealer and stuff. So what I do is, the thread I think is a 1032. I put a 1032 bolt in there, a pair of vice grips, and then just try and wiggle it out a little bit. Where you guys at? There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's moving. Here it comes. There we go. Where you at? Yeah, that's the jet. Let me uh, take off the vice grips here and take that bolt out and show it to you. 
So you gotta make sure it's pretty clean. And then you got a little, at the end of this little titty here, there's a there's a hole, that's where the gas squirts out. And that looks to be in pretty good shape. Don't look like they put it in with any kind of sealant though. Alright, I think that's as far as we're going to go now. I think I'm just going to clean the rest of it up. Everything seems to be pretty good on it. Everything seems pretty tight. So, Alright, we'll clean this up and then uh, maybe we'll make a few videos of that. Alrighty, see you later. I took this one piston out and I was looking at the rings and cleaning them and I noticed uh, this one ring has a big hunk missing out of it, so it looks like we're going to have to buy a set of rings at least. The piston looks like it could be cleaned up and straightened up a little bit, but uh, I might wind up getting another piston too, I don't know. We'll see. We'll start with a set of rings. Alrighty. Enough of this.